curious to see what he builds. Draining ability here of the life drain. But on this bottom lane, Matamba Man, he is surge forward. He's tossed up, but he still has the surge on him. And with that rage, that's going to be first blood here onto Shaslo. That iron shell, as well as the slow of the open wounds, allowing him to get that kill. But this smoke, as well as the haste room onto Miracle. He does the level six, but tossed forward onto Death Prophet. Up Miracle, he uses his nether bar, so they have the lift. Is he going to use the life train? They have disruption if they want it, but look at this the body box from Miracle. And the D crab, it's not enough because of the crypt swarm. Let's see. And G8, she's trying to search himself away the disruption already used, so I don't think they're going to be able to stop this. Also, four points of poison, and they've taken off the living armor. The five stack, I think that he's dead. Fosha pops the shadow poison, and a nice kill there onto G8. Kuroge, he needs to be careful. Gary, do they have vision of him? They finally have a Radiant Ward, so they're knowing about this rotation. And now, mind control, they see Jerry. A nice avalanche toss. That's a lot of damage onto GH, but they have the Surge. They're sending forward mind control. He's as well as the lift. But Excalibur, is he going to be able to get a kill? Does he want to go into this? It looks like he doesn't want to fight into three of them. Are they able to commit for this? They've Iron Shelled up their Doom Illusion, actually. And sending it, they do find the Death Prophet. And over here, the lift as well as the decrep here. They toss forward my control. He gets a nice lift. And they are able to burst up the dude before he manages to cast a spell. Is that going to be enough to tell the Death Prophet to leave his tower alone? Who are they surging forward? They found Jade. Can they stop the TP? It looks like they don't even need to. They have the burst of Miracle. And now they're running away on the side of the real deal. But in this mid lane, we hear the suck actually happening. But it's not quite enough to save off Miracle. He was caught out on Shashlo. There's a haste room here on the Tiny. And they get the Doom. On him, but look at this. The living armor across the map. Is he going to be able to go away? Jerry, they toss him into the air. Toss him back into all of them. They don't have the exorcism. No mana for it. Is he able to get away on the life It looks like not. Excalibur, they kill off the Tumble Man. And now GH being dived onto his tower. But it looks like they don't want to commit for it. But that's a two for nothing. Killing off both cords of liquid. And this is going to result in the tier one mid tower. And that tower does go down to the side of the tire. So Shasho, that's completed. They get the lift. Do they have enough burst? They're just waiting for this decrep to fade off. And I think with the surge forward, that is one very dead Shasho, even committing the ward. And look at that, the reveal of the Dagon. He sleeps himself up, but you're just buying time for Miracle to be able to set up on you. And over here on the back lines, Matamba Man, he's trying to fight up against Excalibur. It takes a lot of damage, actually, there from the adapter strike. And now Matamba Man, the living armor, he doesn't have rage up. The toss, is it going to be enough? He's trying to surge. Rage, but the right click's there from Excalibur. They're bringing down this big kill there for the side of the real deal. And now chasing forward onto GH. They get the open wounds, the toss forward. GH Infernal Blade stop as well as Science, and that is going to be another kill for Excalibur. The Miracle, I assume he's just going to spam the Nether Blast to be kind of annoying into this pit. And he is, and I'm not... They are able to tank through this, just... They need to be careful. There's Mind Control. He's trying to go Invis. He has... No, he doesn't have mana for the Meteor Hammer. They would go with the channel. They get the stuff. Do they have enough to kill them? Look at that! What an amazing kill there! The Dagon... Uh, into the sleep. They steal the Aegis as well. Away from the Roche and Death Prophet. She does have the spirits going back to her. The Avalanche is not enough to save her. Pinvacek is going to die. Miracle playing like a god. They just weren't respecting him outside the pit. They missed the vacuum. So it looks like EGM might be able to get away from this. Decrepify. But Maposha, you're in trouble. Uses the first Shasso even dooming up. This lifestealer, and now Excalibur, he's gone forward. He's turned into the lifestealer. Remember, he is doomed over here, as well as eating the exorcism of Pumacek. But a nice wall, and there we go. The ultimate of mind control, but before he's able to get the meteor hammer, they get the disruption onto him, and he's trying to hide in the trees, but you won't be able to get away. And they've also killed the lifestealer. So that's a two for nothing, as well as a third kill there on GH's Darkseer. A great fight there for the real deal. But over here, hiding in the trees, they do have dust. As well as the Sentry Ward. Now, Kuroki, he's found out, but they blink in. A great overgrowth. And look at that. They just eliminate the Shadow Demon almost instantaneously. Pimpercheck pops his BKB as well as the ultimate. He's doomed up here on the Life Stealer, but he's not afraid. He's ready to fight up against Pimpercheck. But look at this. It's Calibur. He's coming. He's morphed up the Yules onto him. He's thrown for it. Nice as well. And they eliminate the Doom. Next up is Pimpercheck. He has the Spirit Siphon, and it looks like they're trying to get out the Tumban, and he's able to rage up. Finally, his ultimate is off, but look at the disarm on Discalibur. He's rage. He's retreating away. Pimacek will heal up. Does have a TP on him if he just wants to get away. But over here, look at this. They're going forward. They get the silence, so no rage at the moment. And the Doom, actually. This time, it's not on the Lifestealer, but on the team fight control of the train. That's a nice vacuum wall, but do they have any follow of it? They kill off EGM and GH. He's eating an Infernal Blade, as well as the Morphing. It looks like he's the one he wants to focus next. And now, it, all by himself here is Matumba Man. They pop the Exorcism, Excalibur. They have the Solar Crest as well. Matumba Man, I don't think he's long for this world, if I'm honest. He raged up. He's trying to fight. But look at it. It's a decrep on Pingwichet. It means Matumba Man, he's not able to Lifesteal. 
And Excalibur, he bursts the Aegis here on the top of man with that adaptive strike. Michael Shaw, he's sitting on the trees. He bought back for this. Excalibur, they do get the meteor, but actually the BKB popped just in time. The Doom is going to go down, but so is Matumman. It looks like with the end, he's raged up, but he's eating the right hits from Excalibur, as well as the Exorcism of Pimpachem. And GH, he bought back as well. And now Miracle, is he going to be able to get away? Blink Dang on three, but it's being stopped by these Exorcism charges. They get the disarm, but it looks like that's a massive team fight there for the side. Of the real deal. But it's not going to last long versus these Manta Illusions and the real Excalibur. But a fight. Is it going to break out mind control? They are iron shelled up. He does have the blink dagger. And look at this. Ward's all here in the mid lane. And it looks like Shastro. But he gets the BKB off in time to over. It's not going to be able to do enough exorcism from Pink Vichek. And they do kill the Tiny with the suck there. But it looks like my control isn't long for this world. He buys like almost instantaneously. But GH, she's dead as well. And now Pink Vichek, they see Matumba Man. They're running him down. The exorcism. He's affected by that... Solar Crest and he dies. There's no buyback here on the Lifestealer. Like just doing the Lifestealer in those early fights. Over here, the Tiny, they blink forward. He tries to get off his ultimate micro shot, but he's actually tossed forward. So he gets an even better ulti. Now I'm on top of man. He's sitting here. He's waiting for the Shadow Team. He's dead. And now Excalibur, however, is in the fight. That's a good wall by GH. I think they do get the illusion. But the Doom, he, it's coming up in two seconds. He has it. Who's he going to use it on? GH, they uses it now again. On this life stealer, it looks like he's not going to be long for this world. Miracle using the take on, using his burst, but there's the dead life stealer. The Doom just doing so much work. Miracle blink in three seconds. He might be able to get away from this death prophet, but we saw the smoke here from the side of the real deal. We hear illusions being killed by that take on, but EGM, he jumps into the pit again, gets decrept up. But look at this, they have Exorcism and now it's Scalibur. He's become the life stealer. Become that which you hate, but Matumba Man tries to fight out with a DD, but he's doomed up. So much happening. They do kill off EGM, but he buys back instantly. And the Exit and Excalibur just able to kill off this life stealer with ease. He's not able to do anything. Kited up so hard. And people check chasing forward here onto GH. That's so they're trying to find Miracle, but they're not going to find him. But they should be happy with just that life stealer kill. And it looks like they are. They're going into Roshan. Matumba Man, he is sitting here. He has a gem on him. Do they have any detection here by the side of the real deal? No, they don't. Mind control. Is he going to get this? He does. He snatches the Aegis. What a great play by Mind Control. But Miracle, he dies. He has no buyback. So it looks like this is still going to be game for the side of the real deal. Even though Mind Control is making these cool plays. That was the Mind Control, he goes down for a second. The real deal. Who would have expected this? They take game number one versus Team Liquid. It's a four position Luna and a one position Sven. The Undying now seeing this Omni Knight. But Shasho just mans up, takes that room. But GH over here on this bottom lane. Looks like we are having a bit of a fight. They're trying to go onto this Luna. But GH is going to be able to salve up. It's instantly cancelled by Miposhka. And now Jerry has that mango. Is off cooldown. Is he going to pop it? There you go. First blood here to Jerry or EGM. And over here, they get the stun. Excalibur, he's running in. He does have treads. Long range of the sun. And here we are. We're seeing the gold strength. As well as the extra speed of the Warcry Mind Control. I don't think he's going to be able to get away from this one. They do actually snipe the kill there with Mapocha. Jake's just rolling as the trees. You need to be careful about this one, young sir. Because you're going to be in so much trouble. They do manage to kill off actually the Luna with the tree ends there. Or Mind Control. But there's just going to be another kill. Kuroki, he's healing himself up. But it's the trees, the Purify Flames. And it's... Caliber, a double kill for this Sven here in the bottom lane. Things not going well for this Liquid, but you try sprouting him in again with the Quelling Blade. But that's not going to work. But luckily, the Treants, the body blocks. He be he being healed up, but the slow GH as well as my control. I think it's going to be enough to kill Excalibur. They need one more hit and win the roll in. But nice block there by Luna with the body blocks. Excalibur, he's going to be able to salve up to safety. And they're not able to get this kill on the one position Sven. And with all these Treants, the power already pretty low. Radiant Excalibur is coming in, but over here, Shashlo, he shows they have got the Luna as well. GH, he uses his Magnetize. He takes a lot of damage there from those Pure Flying Flames. But they do manage to kill off Jerry first. And now Shashlo, he's in the trees. There isn't level 6 yet on this Oracle. So that Disarm is just going to stop you taking magical damage. But the physical damage of the birds. And they've also caught Pimpinchek. He doesn't have anything to get through the, those trees. Not Sprout TZ, but Sprout Ping. And that's a massive fight for Liquid in the top lane. They take down 4. It was a 1 for 1 change feed. I'm not sure why the Death Prophet came into that fight. They did have a ward from this Liquid. So they see this invasion that's going on. But they're not afraid because they have the top of man. But Tumble Man, Excalibur, he does pop his ultimate as well as the War Cry. But remember, they do have the Tune down and they're not focusing this. Excalibur still has that Quelling Bait, not trapped up in the trees. But over here, Pingmachek, he pops his Exorcism. He's running down with Tumble Man. He does have the Spirit Siphon as well as the Medallion. But look at this. He's taking a lot of damage here 
on this death prophet but the lunar ultimate there of jerry is enough to kill off gh but they do kill the lunar and they do kill a pin check material real cool he's come to this fight shash pops the ultimate so is that gonna be enough to save the poster i don't think so the decay at one last hit on miracle is it gonna be a kill for this oracle oracle we've seen him go down but now it's caliber he runs forward he's trying to get more but look at that the thunder to save the man onto the high ground and now they're running down its caliber he was the only one doing well for the side of the real deal but look at this. He's caught inside the trees once again. Gets up a nice stun, but are they able to stop him getting out? Yes, they are. They do kill him. And Shashlo, nothing to stop that TP. They don't have Eclipse. All their big ultimates on cooldown. And that's just going to be an easy roach, as well as maybe even another kill on Shastro. Kuroki, he's had Shastro's number this entire game. The body block's amazing here from Mind Control. He is stopped from going forward thanks to that Lucid Beam. But Shastro, there's nothing you can do about this. No purification for one second. And it looks like he actually just dies. So the right clicks as well as the decay. Level 1 decay. And look at this. They want even more. They've caught Jerry with the roll in from Jake's Mind Control. The body blocks oh are amazing. And Miracle getting another kill across the map. But all the meanwhile, they've taken a tier 3 tower. While they're chasing down the Death Prophet Excalibur. It looks like he's just trying to clear through these tree ends. But Miracle... He has Metamorphosis They're in one second, and that's just an easy kill on Chashlow. This Omni Knight just out of position, and Matumba Man runs him down with the birds, as well as the Medallion. Doesn't even have his ultimate to save himself from the physical damage, and they don't even use meta need Metamorphosis for this first aid racks at 16 minutes. But now, the entire side of Liquid, they lay down the Tombstone, but Metamorphosis, Kuroki pops his ultimate. It's a silence. It's onto a few of them, but is it quite enough? It's Scalibur. He's caught in the trees, but does quell through them. There you go. Finally, the Omni Knight ultimate, but you know... The you might use it on yourselves, but they're just going to focus towers when they can't focus you. And with the ultimate wearing off, they use the Oracle ultimate to save Shasta. But it means there's nothing to save Excalibur. And now Pivot check. You might have your ultimate on, but I think you're pretty damn next. He throws himself into the air with the Yules. So he gets off a tiny bit more damage, but he just goes down to Miracle. Triple kill for him. And now he might have taken their lives, but GG's cool. Liquid. Absolutely storming through this game number two. Tinker, you get that double laser. Ten seconds. Early on with the Grimstroke ultimate. That's really powerful, honestly. But they're setting up here on Miracle. They do have the stun as well as the walk right now. Miracle, he walks forward. He's slowed up by that dagger. And they also have to the slow of the Frost Deal there on Maposha. Miracle, I don't think he's going to be able to get away from this one. He pops a fairy fire. But first blood goes to Maposha. The laser only making it Scalibur miss because he doesn't have an Agon Scepter. So it was both. Anyway, the war cry, But they have the Ink Swell. But the slow on Miracle, he's not going to be able to get that stun out onto... EGM, so he's going to be just fine. But now, they're turning it around onto Kuroki. Is he able to heal himself up? He doesn't actually have a Devour stack up. And it's Excalibur leaks forward. The stun. Are they able to make more happen onto Miracle? The ink. The stroke of fate does allow them to take down this event. And now, with the laser, they kill Excalibur. So that's three kills across the map here. I thought he would just quelling blade it. Okay, Excalibur. Stun here onto Miracle. But it's not going to be enough now. Kuroki, he's ink spell forward. He gets the stun. Over onto this frost shielded Excalibur. He finally lands in final blade, but they're fighting into the march. It's only level one march. They do kill off Jerry. Is he going to be okay? Miss Postcard trying to get their last hit, but a bottle of miracle. He does heal up, and now Croaky. He's trying to go forward. Is he able to land the infernal blade? No, it was still on cooldown. He does get the hit onto Excalibur. But Jerry, they want Kuroki, but they might settle for GH. They have the Frost Shield as well as the Body Fox, but Ink selling him up. Will it be enough damage for the stun? Kuroki, he's thinking about cutting him in. They have the Science as well as the Phantom's Embrace here onto Excalibur, but he does kill the Phantom, gets the bonus 30 gold, and that gives him the Phantom Strike unlocked for him and able to kill GH. I do like that Kuroki, still level 5, doesn't have his level 6 just yet, but the stun leap forward onto Excalibur as well as Pimper Check. This is going to be a lot of damage. Also, the Frost Shield Kuroki, he goes down almost instantaneously. For that damage of paper check. They do also get the Sinister Gate and GH. I don't think you're long for this world. My control, he does have Ravage, but I don't think he wants to blow it. So paper check gets a double kill. This Timber Saw online, almost level. But bottom lane, mind control, he's been caught out and again. The fear holds him down. The stun. Do they have enough damage? One more crit. They don't even need it. Maposhka. Getting these kills one after an hour. But will he pay for that with his life? His rage is wearing off. He invests himself. Into the creepy. They realize he's there. But Rage, it's still on cooldown. They have the fear. And do they have enough damage? Yes, they do. They take down this life stealer who's been farming so well. And he didn't even manage to buy his relic. So Pimbercheck tanking up this tower. Finally cutting the wave. They do have a Akati. So this tower falls fairly quicker than the mid tower. But over here on this bottom lane. Pimbercheck, he is TPing in. But finally, Kuroki, they get the silence. They have the ink spell. They also have my control. They use the doom just to get the single doom. But finally, they do have the soul bomb. The double bouncing laser. Laser, but a nice vacuum wall there. And the chain frost on top of it. It looks like Mind Control is going to have to pay the price for that kill. Titan say he did use his ra Ravage, but Matumba Man pops out. 
Kuroki, it looks like the bounces aren't enough to kill him off. Like they still want to fight Matumba, and he does have the Radiance. I don't think they realize about how tanky this man is, as well as the amount of damage he does. And it looks like Mapochka is going to be one to pay the price for his PA's oversteps. They're just chasing him down. They hit the laser. And Shaslo, is he able to get away? He is. He has Surge up here. Excalibur actually taking the lifesteal at level 15. That's part of the nerfs here for this PA. Unable to get that armor crash in this early. And Pooping Check, he's just being run down. They throw him up in the air. with Actually, he throws himself in the yule, so he's not able to get the timber chain. And that is a dead Pooping Check. They don't even have to commit the doom. Only the Grimstroke ultimate. How do you push for the side of the real deal? They have the... Inker, they have the Manta style illusions, but look at this. They have a fit. Do they have enough damage to burst him? Another stun. Is it quite enough? But there's a great There's the double doom as we've been talking about the entire game. And now Matama, he's healing up with that life steal thanks to the open wounds. And it looks like Lich is dead as well as Kuroki might go down. But Pigment Check, he's not going to be able to live through this doom. I don't think so. Kuroki, he's being chased down. This is the BKB reveal for Excalibur as the BKB wears off. Now the gush. As well as the laser. It looks like he did actually survive on that Timbersaw. But Excalibur's the one they want. They're throwing out the Chakram. But Matamba, he's chasing forward. He jumps down to the high ground. He also has the Frost Shield. But is he going to be able to get away with the laser? No, he isn't. That damage mitigation, not much. And Mapochka, he fought back for this. But a laser from Miracle. As well as the Radiant Spurn. What a fight for Team Liquid. Matamba, man, he's just going to feast on Mapochka. They do use the Stroke of Fate, but they don't really need it. But GH, he's trying to get out. It looks like he is just going to be food for Excalibur. One, two crits. That's going to be easy. But Matumba Man, they do manage to get an illusion of him in the wall. But a big Ravage from Micro Troll. But Excalibur did have the BKB on in time. Are they able to kill off Shastro, though? Remember, no Doom on Croaky for 24 seconds. A nice stun onto three of them. And with that, it's the fight done. Excalibur, his BKB has walled off. And Miracle, he's back in this fight. Look at this. The laser as well as those rockets. They gone. That is a dead Sven, dead Phantom Assassin. And now double soulbound, he leaps forward with my control. And look at this, they've got the double doom off. What a fight, instantly eliminating Sven as well as this Phantom Assassin. Frost shield, it looks like it was spent on the racks. But Matamo just rages off, and now Pimbercheck has to timber chain himself away. But it's not very far. The tree, it's right next to him. Do they have enough micro drop? It's a big ravage onto three of them, but the BKB popped by Excalibur. He's, but he's not able to kill anyone, and his BKB is wearing off. Matamo and a really nice infested Dagon doing it is already a level 3 Dagon. And Excalibur, he's going to try and TP away, but no BKB. And look at this. Marcher Machine sitting in the trees is a miracle. Pimbo check almost down. But Jerry, they found him. They vacuum him forwards. They get a wall. Are they able to call Miracle? But the Ravage! It's onto three of them. And look at this. They get the Soulbind as well as the double doom of Kuroki. And they just absolutely annihilate the two supports there. And they find the Timbersaur as well. And Jerry, he bought back. I think this is all over. Game number two and three. Team Liquid victory in this series. They move on to the upper bracket of this GSL format.